okay now in this time I can explain the how to auto calibration in the rainbow mirror method is not that difficult so we recommend uh, regularly the this auto calibration the proceed by the our end user so in need uh, we need two accessory in the auto calibration cable and adapters also the third one is the calibration tool calibration tool is the also we put in the tool pockets number is eight tool pocket number position is eight the our we call the calibration tool so we need uh, this accessory cable adapters calibration tool just remember and also we need the the rounded load i can show you the this picture you can see there is round the, the t, like the t blank we call this the calculation load that only has the same size but it's just remember this we need the two loads this ones so it's the distinguish this one is, is not the milling material just our calculation material so it's the remember it's the don't miss things it's the same size has an any position is fine so I can show you step by step okay firstly just uh, proceed in the our the guide the pictures it's not the difficult and we recommend just this process has a regularly the half a year is that any is the special the problem is this fine but maybe if you the after milling the t-blank has a, some the irregular surface and is the some has in need the defects it we recommend the auto calibrations okay the firstly before the starting the auto calibration just take the pictures take the pictures our on the display that's in remember the before the value so take the pictures and now we fix the loads, fix the round loads before the, we just the dry conditions. Okay, now you can see there's a flat area. Flat area is the top size. So just take it. The position is the three and five. You can see. Uh, sorry, this position is not not the three and five. As an eight, three and eight in the center positions. Remember, has a no gap. We can tightly tighten it. Has a fixes three and eight, and it's the opposite size. You can the block by its bottoms, and you can fix the calculation loads. It's the same way. Now it's flat area is the bottom size. This one just the auto calibration, but maybe is it is it the finish the auto calibration has a milling result is it has a defects. It need the manual calibration by our the headquarter engineer. It's not not easy, so maybe if you the try to the calibration has a problem is that the disappear just contact to our engineer staff and we can treat the manual calibration the by visit your sites okay now the we fix the calculation loads the position the three and eight is finished okay now and we stop the next following steps okay you can see the display now we press the start just remember the before the value take the pictures You can follow the, this picture by step by step. It's not uh, difficult. This one is the four axis X, Y, Z, and A. This one is the four axis, the metal, the wet processing.
okay now we see we click the stats you can see there is the position 8 is the calibration tool and you can see the fixed the loads if you did it just press the yes but just the important thing is the adapter has a the final step maybe fix the adapter the people calibration has a in the moving down that has a collision in the tool pocket so just the, we recommend the calibration adapter is fix it is the final step it's not the first step just remember and also the calibration tool it must be in the tool position 8 now you can see it take the calibration tool this adapter has a, the final step it doesn't fix it the first step also remember the calibration tool shape end of the tool is the has a flat the shape it's not the round it's not the milling ball if you has just the one calibration tool so maybe just the important the uh, don't missing and the broken okay if everything ready is to press the yes also check position 3 and position 8 now you can see there is the in this step you must be the fixed the adapter in the spindle important is the spindle area the adapter has a fixed uh, the bottom of the spindle so you can see how to fix the adapter to the spindle Let's connect the cables and then fix the tighten the spindle area remember it has a two spot those two spot has connected that area another area is has a make the big problem so that position is the our recommend area in this shape is fine but just to be recommend is the left side at this hour view also remember to connect the cables and then everything is ready it's no more just everything is ready and you can check the electric sensor you have the another cable is to check the sensor has a connect or disconnect this sensor may be connect to the metal area you can see there is the sensor light it has a the turning the green lights maybe it doesn't contact connect has a the just black lights but maybe has connect the metal area the display has changed to green lights we can see the how to the contact the the calculation loads so this process is has a auto calibrations so check the right and bottom side the sensor area sensor area is green is contact and black has this contact you must be distinguish then it's normally everything metal area has a check the green sensor is the we can start the auto calibrations finally we press the yes and then we start auto calibration a y x and a z this total the process has takes about the 40 minutes 40 minutes so after 40 minutes you can see the 
new value on the right side. So just dis distinguish the before and after is the value uh, gap. Okay, everything's finished. Thank you.